Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to my new Codius video. Today's video will be practical and I will show you how to create your smart contract from scratch and deploy it to Codius server. We will begin with simple contract, something like Hello World application, in order to better understand process. But in the upcoming videos I will show you how to create more complex contracts that involve payments. Codius contract creation has three major stages. Firstly, we need to code our application. Then we need, we need to convert this application into Docker image. And lastly, we need to deploy this Docker image to the Codius host. For our application we will use Node.js. If you don't have it yet, you can download it from Node.js.org. And for containers we will use Docker. You can install Docker from docker.com. And for deployment we will use Codius CLI. You can get Codius CLI from Codius.org website. Please take a note that Codius CLI requires MyID instance running. If you do not know how to install MyID, please watch my video about Codius server setup. Ok, let's build our application. Firstly, let's create directory and call it Codius Hello World. Hit enter, get to this directory and run npm init command. Init. This command will create package.json file. Ok, hit enter, enter, entry point index.js, ok, test command node index.js, git repository skip this and skip the rest. Here is example of our package.json. We'll hit enter and save it. OK. The next thing we need to create index.js file. Let's use touch command index.js. And for our hello world application we need Express.js framework. So let's install it npm install express minus minus save so this command will add express to our package.json file package.json was updated we have express independencies so now let's work with index.js firstly let's import express const express equals to require express. Then let's create application constant const app equals to ex express. And then if we visit our web page then we'll receive some notification. So app dot get slash it means that we use it root directory of our website and we'll have callback request response and we'll implement this callback like response send and we'll send some message like Curious hello. Okay, and finally, we need to listen some port. App listen port eighty eighty host for zeros. Well, this is very simple code of our application. Let's try to run it and test it. Node index.js. So we don't have any errors in console. That's good. So let's open a web browser and go to localhost port 8080. And here we see our message Codius hello. So first stage is done. At the second stage, we will use Docker 
to build image of our application. To do that, we'll create another file. We'll call it Docker file without any extensions. So this file will contain set of instructions that will tell Docker what to do with our app. Firstly, let's tell Docker that we use Node.js. So from from Node version 8. We'll use Node.js version 8. Then we need to create work directory for our application. So work work directory would be usr usrc app. Then we will install dependencies. Firstly, we need to copy package.json and package log.json into our work directory. So copy package star. So this will be a wildcard for both files. JSON into our work directory. Then Docker will install dependencies. So run npm install command. Once dependencies inst are installed, so we'll copy source code of our application to the work directory. Copy to docs. Then we need to open port for our application. So we'll use expose command and we'll open port 8080. And finally, we will tell Docker which command to use in order to run our application. So cmd npm start. Oops, Docker requires double quotes here, so let's fix it. Well, finally we have built Docker file. So let's hit save and go to the terminal to build image. Let's type docker build minus t. We'll provide name for our image. So we'll use our username. My name is Denario. So use yours in your case. Denario Corius hello world and directory dot. So build will take some time. I will pause the video. If you run command docker images, you can see the list of your images. Here is our recent Codius Hello World. It was built about a minute ago. So let's run it. Docker run minus p. This flag will link some public port to the port inside of our container. So let's take some public. 4960 and it will be linked to port 8080 which we have exposed and image name denario produce hello world and hit enter so our app is running let's go to the web browser and visit localhost and our port 49.60 and here we see Corius hello response that's good and the last thing we need to do before deploying our image to Corius server is to upload image to docker hub please visit hubdocker.com and create account there this is some sort of GitHub, but for Docker images. Here is my account and my test image. Let's log in to Docker Hub. Docker login. Username Denario. And provide your password. Once you are logged in, type Docker push and image name Denario slash. Corius 
hello world. This command will push image from your local machine to the Docker Hub. Few minutes later, Codius Hello World is uploaded to Docker Hub. That means that stage 2 is finished, and now we can work with Codius part. Before we upload our image to Codius server, we need manifest file. Here is example of it. In our case, we need to provide two simple scenes. Port name, which we have exposed in Docker container, it is 8080, and image name of our application. In our case, it is Denaria Codius Hello World. So let's save this manifest and run it. If you are curious what happens under the hood when you upload your contract, I recommend you to run upload command in debug mode. Debug equals to star Codius upload manifest file name Codius hello world and in this case Codius will pick a random server and will deploy your application or you can specify any other server where you want to deploy with host flag. I will very appreciate if you run your contracts on my servers. They are listed in the description to this video. But I will pick other server, it is not mine. So also you can specify duration of your contract, by default it is 10 minutes. And let's hit enter. Firstly we have paid for our runtime and our contract has been deployed. Here is link to our contract, so let's copy this link and visit this website. And here we see what we expected to see. Codius hello. Great. Stage 3 is also finished. That's all friends. We have just created very simple decentralized application and uploaded it to Codius server. In the next videos I will explore more complex things like payments. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!